Your phone is ringing. Here. Let me get that for you. Operation White Noise is right around the corner, ladies and gentlemen, and I am so, so, so excited. I love new seasons in Rainbow Six Siege. It's kind of like a new year in Call of Duty. It just kind of feels like a little bit of a fresh start, and I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I'm still excited. But anyway, so far we have two new operators revealed to us. We obviously had Sophia revealed to us, and we already got a teaser trailer, and we know pretty much everything about her and her past and her abilities and her weapons. But then today we got a new operator revealed to us, and her name is Dokibi, I think is how you pronounce her name. We do not not know much about her yet. All we know is that she's Korean and we know what her loadout's gonna be, but we don't really know much else. Everything we know so far can be found on the Rainbow Six section of Ubisoft's website, and I'm gonna go ahead and read you everything that's on that article. Now, the entire article kind of starts off with a, with a little bit of a prelude, I guess, but I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm gonna, but this is what it says. Her fingers dance across the keyboard, the light of the LCD screen underscoring her smirk. Each line of code is a triumph building toward terminal velocity. She dances around firewalls and rewards herself with sips of her third energy drink tonight. She's trying to cut down and forest her concession. She's no brute force thug or click jacker, and in the short order of a few days, she's finally managed to get inside. With one last click, she carefully taps the enter button and sends the words that will either make her or break her. Hello, Rainbow Six. Now, I feel like what this is, is it's a little bit of a teaser of into what her ability could be, and it sounds more like she's a hacker of some sort. I don't know what she could hack or what she can do when she hacks the anything. I don't know if she can hack, hack cameras or if she can hack um, any kind of electronic device that any of the uh, defending team may have. We don't know what her ability is yet, but if this gives any insight, then it sounds like it has a pretty good potential to be something pretty good in the game, to be honest. All right, now let's go ahead and hop into what the rest of the article says. Operation White Noise brings you two new operators from the Republic of Korea and the famed 707th Special Mission Battalion. They don't call them White Tigers for nothing, and the 707th trains to Korea's finest operators under brutal winter conditions. Among them, the cunning Dekivi. Before we reveal Dekivi's unique abilities during the live stream, we take a look behind the scenes at Korea's preeminent future soldier. We wanted an operator who went against type, says lead writer Lucien Solban. Put an assault rifle in her hand and she's deadly, but use her special ability and the enemy team is in her crosshairs. Nobody understands how to push the boundaries of asymmetrical warfare the way Grace Dekibi Nam can. She was always a do-it-yourself type of personality, and what she couldn't get her hands on, she built. She joining the ROK Army's 9th Special Forces Brigade and her entry into the White Tigers was a rocky journey because of her tendency to irk her pragmatic superiors. Her creative thinking does not follow conventional wisdom, but despite this, she's managed to gain Rainbow Six's attention and landed one of the coveted spots because of her skills. Grace has found a home for herself, and she's out to prove she belongs here, despite the target on her back. Now that ending right there, where it talks about a target on her back, I, we don't know what that means yet, but I'm pretty sure that we'll find out like once we hear more about her backstory. Either it'll directly address it, or we'll be able to draw pretty fairly accurate conclusions once we find out more information. Okay, there is one more little article at the bottom that gives a little bit more information into her specifically. Grace Dekibi Nam is an attacker who represents a new breed of operators who hit their target where they aren't expecting it. She brings the MK-14 EBR Marksman Rifle and the BOSG-12-2 Shotgun into the fight as her primary weapons, and the C-75 Auto and SMG-12 MPs as her secondary. What makes her even more dangerous, however, is her trickster streak and it can get you killed. So the first most obvious point that we got from this is that she's an attacker, so that's like the first thing that we really know about her. Now the next thing we want to go ahead and talk about is her loadout, and the first thing I noticed was that her first two primary weapons is a marksman rifle and then a shotgun. And at first I didn't really like that, but then it kind of gets made up for by her secondary weapons. I don't really know exactly what types of pistols they're going to be, but we do know that they're both machine pistols, so that's a good thing. Because I wasn't, I didn't really like that the only two primary weapons we had was a marksman rifle, which is like better for like kind of a longer distance shot, and then the shotgun is close range. I didn't like that we didn't have some kind of fully automatic weapon, so I'm very happy happy that they added two um, fully auto pistols. Now, unfortunately, we do not know anything about the gadgets she will be using or her speed and armor, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that we'll be finding out that kind of stuff at the live stream. But now, the part that has me very confused is that at the very end, it talks about her trickster streak and how that's what makes her so dangerous, but I have no idea what this could mean. I mean, obviously, this is probably referring to what her ability is, but I don't know. I can't get gather anything from this. I can't figure out what her ability could be. I don't even know what it means by trickster streak. If you guys have any thoughts on what this whole trickster streak thing means, then let me 
know down in the comments because I'm very lost on it. So yeah, that's everything we know about the new operator so far. Uh, I'm actually liking her so far. I think that she could be a very useful operator and I'm very excited to see some gameplay of her. As I said, they will be revealing more information about her very soon and when they do, I'll be sure to make a video updating you guys on everything we will learn more about her. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that like button, subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege content and news and Call of Duty news because I do make those as well. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.